of subway surfing. Meanwhile, a pair of retired NYPD chiefs under indictment tonight on the corruption charges. That's right. The arrests follow a year-long probe accusing the two former chiefs of accepting nearly $200,000 in a bribery scheme. Fox Eyes Antoine Lewis has more on the investigation. Federal prosecutors have indicted retired FDNY chiefs Anthony Sacavino and Brian Cordasco on bribery and corruption, charged with expediting the safety inspections of city buildings while they were high-ranking officials at the Bureau of Fire Prevention, or BFP. They allegedly created a VIP lane for faster service that could only be accessed with bribes. Southern District U.S. Attorney Damian Williams says Sacovino and Cordasco were part of an elaborate scheme with retired FDNY firefighter Henry Santiago Jr. Authorities say Santiago ran a company that facilitated safety inspections. Payments were then given secretly to Anthony Sacovino and Brian Cordasco, who then, as we allege, used their authority as chiefs at the BFP to push and expedite matters that were pending before the BFP. And that in turn created this fast track. Authorities say the defendants took advantage of the backlog of safety inspections for new buildings that was created by the pandemic. Officials say their investigation began in 2021 and that 49-year-old Cordasco and 59-year-old Sacovino collected at least $190,000 while the alleged scheme was in operation. Mayor Adams was asked about the indictments during a separate event on Monday. It started in the previous administration. Our administration became aware of it. They took the proper steps and reported the action. In a statement to Fox 5, newly named FDNY Commissioner Robert Tucker said every member of the FDNY takes a sworn oath to conduct themselves honestly and ethically. Anything less will not be tolerated. The department will fully cooperate with any ongoing investigations. Williams' office is also conducting three of the four corruption inquiries involving people with ties to City Hall. He was asked if more corruption indictments were possibly forthcoming. I'm not going to be able to, to, to comment on that. Henry Santiago Jr. pleaded guilty and is cooperating with authorities. Cordasco and Sacovino entered not guilty pleas and were given bail. They'll be back in court on December 17th. Reporting from Lower Manhattan, Antoine Lewis, Fox 5 News.